folks, welcome to Play Branson, where you get to know Branson's entertainers better. I'm your host, Chris Meyer, and today's show is brought to you by iBranson.com, where you can find lots of information about Branson shows and attractions. If you're looking for the latest schedules, go to iBranson.com. Our guest artist today is Matthew Boyce. He's with a show called Elvis, Story of the King. Here's the deal. Summer's right around the corner. Have you booked your summer vacation to Branson yet? Well, where else can you combine the following? World-class family entertainment, the best theme parks, shopping, golf, lakes, attractions of all kind, and great hospitality. Bring your friends, bring your family, and find your fun in Branson. It's the perfect spot for your next family reunion, too. We'll be back in just a moment with Matthew Boyce with Elvis, Story of a King. There are so many things to do in Branson. You need help planning and booking all your fun. You need iBranson.com. You can find everything Branson has to offer from your computer, tablet, or cell phone. You can even buy tickets online or talk to one of their friendly Branson travel specialists. There's no sales pitches, no delivery fees, no service fees, and no waiting. It's fast and easy. Find your fun at iBranson.com. Do it all online or call 877-ENTERTAIN. That's 877-368-3782. iBranson.com. Hey folks, welcome to Play Branson and welcome back to the show. We are here with Matthew Boyce, uh, one of our young entertainers in Branson. And we're going to be, you're in a lot of shows, but we're going to be yeah. talking about Elvis, the story of a king, right? Yeah, absolutely. I got it right. Um, and But before we do that, let's go way back and let's talk about your history and yeah. how did you get into this business and kind of take us on the journey. Sure. Uh, my mom says it really well. I was just a ham growing up. I really, I was always putting on a show, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't show people. I had really bad stage fright. I do it at home, you know, behind closed doors. I would dance around, sing around, jump on the coffee tables. You know, I, I just, I'd always want to be the center of attention. I always had these songs. I, I loved the Wizard of Oz growing up. I, I could tell you the entire film. I could recite every line, change the costumes, do all the dances. It was like, I, I just loved performing. I loved to put on a show. And my, my parents finally urged me to do a talent show. And I just, I didn't, I was scared out of my mind, but I actually did a dance from the Wizard of Oz while singing like the Scarecrow. And I was like in first grade. And then, then uh, from there I started doing uh, Elvis for like school events, talent shows and stuff. And then traveling all around the country doing the contest. By the time I was 13 years old, I was competing with adults doing this full time. Wow. And um, I won my first contest at 17 and then got my first touring contract around then and traveled the country uh, and Canada doing Elvis for a couple different shows, produced my own shows. Um, went to college for music, business, audio tech, theater. Uh, so did that on the side while doing Elvis and then got the call to come to Branson for a bit. So and you were talking about you got this contract to be Elvis and at a, at a young age. And so did you even, were you on the road before you finished high school? Yeah, I actually started booking shows my senior year. And I got to college, and the fir my first day I got in my dorm, I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to really take this production agency as far as I can go. And I just started cold calling theaters all over the country, saying, you know, I'm, I, I, I own this company, we have these shows. And I just started sending videos and photos and taking any gig that I could. And this was while you were in college? While I was in college. That's pretty, that's pretty entrepreneurial. And it was quick. Within, I got there in August. By January, I had my first touring production and I decided I was gonna go like straight to the wall with it. And we, we put together a live recreation of Elvis on tour in the 70s with a 28 piece orchestra. Full band, strings, horns, girls. I charted the whole thing, put the whole thing on its wheels and we took, took a bunch of college kids out and my band of guys that I'd had since I was 15 and we, we went on the road and we did this show at a bunch of different theaters and then that got my foot in the door on the East Coast with my theaters and then that turned from one theater into like 10 or 15 theaters and now I'm booking uh, these Elvis shows that we do and uh, outside of Elvis we have you know Elton John, The British Invasion, tons of other shows trying to boost brands and tourism now when we're closed here. We travel all around the country yeah. bringing our shows to different audiences trying to bring them back to brands. Yeah. When you're in college do you finish college or do you stop because you're doing this or did you just do the shows during the summertime? So I, I was at a school in New York called the College of St. Rose in Albany. I went there for two years and then uh, I was getting so busy with traveling that I switched to an online school called Full Sail out of Orlando, Florida. Oh yeah, I've heard of it. Um, went there for a bit 
and then I moved to Branson. COVID hit the world, and we all kind of parted ways from all our different things. Yeah. And it was really hard for me to study a theater degree or a music degree without being in person. So then when I moved to Branson, Chris offered me a great job, not just with the shows, but in a tech aspect. So I apprenticed under him learning the, the tech side of the theater, learning the lights, the sound. And I had a great knowledge on it from the beginning, from, th from college, starting the courses. But really, you, you learn studio stuff. You don't learn how to mix a room. You don't learn how to, to make the lights look mm -hmm. you want them to look. The video screens, you know, you learn mm -hmm. all this. So hours under um, Chris's wing, just listening to what he had to say and learning. And it really, you know, still there's more to learn. But yeah. just you can always learn. You always. You can always learn. So how, how old are you? Uh, I'm, I'll be 24 this year. 24. You've, you've, got a, you've got a long road, so to say, ahead of you. A long a lot of opportunity because you're just getting started. Yeah. That's how I see it. Like, oh, yeah. You're young. I got so a while. You make me feel old. <laughs> <laughs> it gets me worried how much further I can get sucked into this Branson thing. Because I didn't know. I only planned to come here and stay for a summer. And now here I am four years in and I don't see myself really going anywhere yeah. anytime soon. I, you know, it, to me, it's a great place to live. Because I'm like, where can, oh, yeah. you be in a, where can you live with like 11,000 people and have as much to do? Yeah. As in here. I mean, there's no other place in the country. And feel like a star during the day, do all your shows, and then go home at night and feel like you have a normal life. See your dog and, mm -hmm. you know, have a, have a, you know, a home-cooked meal. Really just, there's the one thing about the road is there's some great theaters and some great people, but, you, you know, you're, you're getting McDonald's and, you know, Starbucks, and that's kind of all you see. You see the roads, you see your car, and you, you can do the same caliber shows, if not better, here. Yep. And then go home and spend the night with your family and really just in, enjoy your enjoy a, a, a normal life. It's your job. There we go. Folks, we'll be back in just a second with more Matthew Boyce. Well, that's all right, boy. That's all right for you. Hey folks, welcome back to Play Branson. We're here with Matthew Boyce and we're talking about this show called Elvis, Story of a King. And so second year in Branson yep. and t tell people about the show. Like what is, what is it like? Yeah, so Elvis, Story of a King goes to the life story of Elvis from uh, his roots in gospel music and Tupelo moving to Memphis, starting out at Sun Records, recording his first uh, single, That's All Right Mama, going through Louisiana Hayride and all of his early touring in the 50s at Sullivan Show, of course, where, where he broke the world with his performance where they shot him from the waist up. And you go into things like when he got drafted and his movies and you really hit some of your, your favorite movie songs. We talk about uh, the 68 comeback and the black leather and how he came back to the stage in Vegas in the 70s. Aloha from Hawaii with the Eagle jumpsuit broadcasted across the world via satellite. The whole show is backed by a live band, singers and dancers, beautiful costumes. The whole show is uh, about two hours, uh, three days a week in Branson, two o'clock, and really is... Uh, in, in the world right now, there's not many shows doing this kind of accuracy about Elvis' life with the costumes. We use vintage microphones and instruments exact to what they used back, mm. back on stage to recreate the best that we can. We have vintage costume pieces. The jumpsuits are made by uh, the original costumers that actually worked on Elvis' patterns. And the people that just did all the jumpsuits for the movie that just came out actually did the costumes for our show as well. Yeah. So, so the, movie, the movie that just came out was amazing. Oh, yeah great work and it, it's just really cool to kind of see that you know chris and the theater the team they really put the work into this show they really didn't want to spare any expense because there's been so many elvis shows in town and we didn't want to do the same the same show you see a lot of concert style shows you see a lot of production shows and you've seen some elvises from tony roy to jerry presley dean and they're they're all great friends that i've known my whole life i've known dean since i was 10 or 11 years old and um you know, we, we, want, we went and saw him and we said, you know, we want to do something a little bit different. And when we came up with this, we were like, okay, well, we have a lot of concerts. We have Dean's a high energy production show. We have Jerry who does great concert recreation. What's something completely different? No one's telling the life story. No one's going through his humble roots. No one really shows, they show Elvis the performer, but no one's showing Elvis the man, yeah. like who he was, where his roots were, where he yeah. established his, his story and what brought him. Why, why is he the king? You know, people show the end result, but really you get to see everything. And the whole show is told 
uh, by his mother, looking down on his crowning achievements, telling, you know, what was going on at this time? How is he feeling? How is the family feeling? How are the fans? How are the, the press taking it? There's some great footage, there's some great facts, there's some great stuff that you don't really see every day that you might not have ever seen about Elvis. And um, I think it's, for an Elvis fan, it's, it's a really cool show. If you're not an Elvis fan, it's a great show to learn more about Elvis. Yeah, a lot so of, it's, 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 it's got a historical component to yeah. it. It's great. I think it's great for families because you see a lot of kids coming out, a lot of grandparents bringing their kids to the shows, um, lots of young kids coming in suits trying to you know, do their Elvis moves, and lots of people after the movie too, lots of young girls, teenage girls, teenage guys that just fell in love with Elvis after seeing the movie. And I, I love seeing it. I love seeing the growth of young Elvis fans coming out and seeing the show because mm. you know some people might think Elvis is going away, but with the movie and the resurgence of that and artists covering his songs still, I mean, how many versions of Can't Out Falling In Love have you heard with different artists recreating the songs? And that was from one of his biggest films, Blue Hawaii. And we talk about things like that, you know? So many great songs, so many great things that he had 800 something songs he recorded. So are you, are you singing all the songs? We do all 800, yeah, no. No, I mean, are you doing, <laughs> like in the show, are you, are you singing all yeah, the songs? all so. live, no pre-recorded voices in this show. Uh, it's it's all done all done live on stage everything from the 50s all the way to the 70s and uh, we even break it down all the way at the beginning with the Sun Records stuff with just the guitars and the bass on stage and it's all just as live rockabilly as you can get how many any idea how many songs you're doing in the show oh uh, you're talking 40 50 something songs because you know the, we, we follow the Branson mold where it's not always full songs we like to put as many tastes of the songs in. We do a lot of full songs, but there's a couple of segments where we want to hit like the movies. We want to hit as many movies as we can. So we give you a taste of a bunch of different films and we do a bunch of different costumes throughout and show you what it might have looked like to watch the film or what it would have been like on set or in Vegas when he was touring, what it might have felt like to be going through one of those moments. So we hit a lot of songs in a two hour period, a little bit over two hours sometimes, depending on if we get, you know, how, how much fun we're having out there. But what's, what's been the craziest reaction you've had from somebody? Um, Any thoughts coming to mind on that? Honestly, the coolest things to hear are the people that come up to you and say that they saw Elvis live and that for split seconds, they, they felt the magic again. Mm. I, had a, I, I tell this story a lot, but I had a guy maybe five, six years ago, this wasn't even in Branson, but this is a great, great compliment, was um, he said, hey, I, I wanted to talk to you for, I was on the way out the door. And he said, my, uh, my kids drug me out to the show tonight. And I really didn't want to come. And I said, I'm, I'm, really, I'm glad you came, though. Thank you. Said, no, it's more, I, my wife's been in the hospital for a while, and she hasn't been doing great. And I just got to tell you, you're the first thing that's made me smile in six weeks. Oh, wow. And it's just things like that, that you realize, you know, this is why you perform. This is why you do things. But sometimes Elvis just has that pull to people. El everyone has a story about Elvis. Whether you know him that well or not, you know, some people... We get, I, oh, our first dance was to this at my wedding, or I remember taking our first date to this movie, or my grandma used to listen to that around the house in the kitchen, or my uncle had this. You have, a lot of people have these stories about Elvis, or I remember that clock sitting in my, in my garage, you know, and uh, so everyone has these things you can relate. So it's just a really cool connection to have. Yeah. You're doing another show that I just found out, this classic. Yes, classic I rock icon. Classic rock icons, and, um, Let's just, let's just tell people a little bit about that. Yeah, We've got a few minutes absolutely. that we can. Um... So brand new show. It follows the mold of uh, British Invasion, which has been in the theater for three seasons now in Branson. And it goes through your favorite classic rock icons, starting off with everything from Fleetwood Mac, The Rolling Stones, uh, Journey, Bon Jovi, Aerosmith, Tom Petty, all backed by a live band. The production is out, out the window, lots of lights, Cool stuff, loud rock music. This is there's not many rock shows in Branson. Right, so it's something different. Good, it's something different. Hey, folks, here you are. A couple of different things: Elvis, Story of the King, or classic rock icon. Icons. Classic rock icons. There you go. They're all over at the Americana Theater out on West Highway 76. We'll be back in just a second to wrap the show up.
Hey folks, we're back wrapping the show up today. We want to thank Matthew Boyce for coming out and talking to us about this newer show in Branson called Elvis, Story of a King. It plays at 2 p.m. on Sunday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays through December 7th at the Americana Theater. It's located at 2905 West 76 Country Boulevard. They also have some of the other shows out there, the Awesome 80s, Monday, Wednesday, and Saturdays at 2 p.m., Tuesdays and Fridays at 8 p.m. You can find all this information online at ibranson.com or you can call those folks at 1-877-ENTERTAIN. Next week's artist, Kevin Allen. He's a guitarist and band director of Legends in Concert. We have lots of other great shows coming up throughout the fall, throughout and even in August, lots of folks coming up. Be sure to check out ibranson.com where you can find a lot more information about special events that are coming up soon or you can call those folks at 877-ENTERTAIN. And we'll be back next week with more Play Branson.